Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here this week to call your attention to a very interesting article in this month's AJM. Um, it's from Montreal, uh, Canada. Um, it's Auger, uh, that's A-U-G-E-R et al. Um, and they studied uh, this very interesting syndrome that we've just recognized in the last 20 years, so-called Takotsubo uh, syndrome, uh, or more commonly known as the stress heart attack in which the arteries in the heart are not closed down, but patients present with a real heart attack, and then usually uh, things clear up in a few days, um, and the, uh, the heart re re sort of sets itself and, and becomes normally functioning again. But what's interesting is that these folks have events down the road. So you might think, well, the arteries are still open. These folks should be fine, but they're not fine. There's something that's being told by this event, this toxic a tubo or stress um, heart attack, um, stress myocardial infarction. So um, what they did was they compared group of patients with this Takotsubo syndrome to uh, people who were never had a heart attack to other people who'd had heart attacks. And what they found was that the patients with the Takotsubos actually had con some continuing events even though their arteries were normal. And you would have predicted, oh, they should be fine. There shouldn't be any more events. Now, of course, they didn't do quite as bad as the patients who had real heart attacks where hunks of, of heart muscle were lost. But in fact, even though the heart muscle damage was reversible, there were still a number of events downstream. Now, we don't really know what we should be doing to prevent those uh, events, but we should all be aware that it's not a completely benign syndrome.